And now a reading of Six Foot, Seven Foot by rapper Little Boy. <laughs> Hook, Six Foot, Seven Foot, Eight Foot Bun. Excuse my charisma, vodka with a spritzer. Swagger down pat, call me Patricia. Young money mili- militia, and I'm the commissioner. So now what, startin' wheezy, cause the F is for finisher? Life is the bitch, and death is the sister. Sleeping this cousin, what a fucking family picture. No matter who's buying, I'm celebration. Black and white diamonds, fuck segregation. Fuck that shit, my money up. You n- just honey nut. Oh yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's A-S. A-A-A-S. You can't say E-R. It's A-A-A-A-A-S. Young tuna fish. Uh, that's the first <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. All right. Then you gotta go back to hook. Alright, the hook, yeah. Oh god, Lord. Uh, six foot, seven foot, eight foot brunch. Okay, I lost my mind. It's somewhere out in the stranded. I think you stand up- I think you stand under me if you don't understand me. Had my heart broken by the woman named Tammy. Bitch is real cheese. Move in silence like lasagna. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> hey, everybody. It's hey! podcast. Milk Runners episode 9.1, I guess. Uh, 9.2. Because Danny, I guess, his internet quit forever, which is why he's not on this week. So, yeah. With with me, I have Josh. Oh, yeah, that's me. Uh, <laughs> Anthony. Howdy. And Sam. Howdy. And Anthony. Howdy. And Josh. Man, we have a more than a oh, three-man podcast me. today. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's two Anthony's and two Josh's. We have um, the Schizophrenia podcast today. Yeah, sure. Uh, the intro was submitted by probably me, but if it wasn't me, then it is submitted by... Which I don't know his name yet. I will, we will, I will post um, recordingly... I don't know. Accordingly. I'll fix it in post. Is what I'm <laughs> Did you say, say recordingly? Say. Yeah, I'll post recordingly, edit in the name of the dude who made the intro. But as we're recording this, we don't have an intro. So assuming that we don't get one by the time this comes out, it'll be made by me. Um, and I've got something planned for that. But you guys should really be the ones to make intros because mm. we don't want to do it all the time. I hope and you're not talking it's to me you, or Anthony. It's your guys. No, not you. Yeah, it's your we guys don't do, do intros things. no more. Okay, good to do that so uh what have y'all been up to I i've been playing video games all day today yeah <laughs> awesome well, let's talk about that what are you what are you playing uh today i played a bunch of arma 2 just oh nice but tons of arma 2 wasn't and there I'm... like a arma like cold war or something that like sucks yeah, yeah Arma game. Cold War Assault sucks pretty hard. Yeah. Like, it is bad. I thought it'd be a fun little Arma game. Like, uh, granted, what? I knew it was going to be a really shitty graphics, but I didn't know the character models would look like fucking cardboard people. Yeah, seriously. When we were talking, you guys told me it was free, and I was disappointed when I saw it was five bucks. Well, it was, like, free for the weekend when they had the sale from Bohemia oh. Software. I, w- I wish I could go back in time and buy it, though. Or not buy it, download it. That would have been a much funnier, funnier Let's Play than what we have planned. Speaking of which, we've been a little bit uh, behind the eight ball with Let's Plays, and um, we are recording one. Is that saying? Hopefully, I think, yeah. I think he he really saying. That my, saying. my mom says it all the time. Nice joke, Andy. Mom, like, my mom says, "Oh, you're mom behind the eight what ball the on uh, something like that," which means like you're behind on it. So she's know. a pool shark. Yeah, his mom yeah. is a pool shark. Pool just runs in my family. We play just non-stop pool. Yeah, I haven't been it's playing pool terrific. in a while. Sometimes, sometimes I uh, install a diving board on the billiard table and I just dive right on top of it. I do a belly flop sometimes. It that was breaks a good the table. Yeah. Well, someone's got to, I guess, carry the podcast. <laughs> apparently, that's when I'm, man, dude, my that job was some is solid jokes. Yeah. You know. So speaking of podcasts, more like right? striped jokes. Oh, okay, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I think this is a uh, this is actually the second time we've had to re-record. Yeah, it is the second oh, time yeah. we've had to re-record. We may have mentioned that, but we we had an all right one that actually had Danny, but um, yeah, his like computer died. His computer crashed, and Audacity like 
Audacity was like, yo, let me recover this audio, and then it worked, and then it was like, actually, never mind, I'm going to crash, and then it deleted everything forever. I think we're using the term decent really, really, really loosely, because that podcast was... It was okay. No, I very much enjoyed it, but then again, that might be because Danny was on it, and Danny kind of is a good component to this podcast. Um, So yeah. Oh, next podcast is going to be number 10. And oh. I didn't, I didn't know that we were gonna do something is big, it? but apparently, according to you guys, we're gonna no, I think like, this is eight. No, this is nine. This is definitely nine. Yeah, no, it's theoretically, if you count the ones that we haven't released, we're on podcast eleven. Oh yeah, I know, but this is number nine though. This is ninth release one, hopefully, unless our internet shits out on us. Yeah, and if we count the prequel, the Jad's cast, with the crappy audio, we're on episode ten, but. Uh, we're only on episode 9. So anyway, it's pretty good that we're 9 episodes in. That's like t- 2 months plus a week. Anyway, um, a couple of days ago my friends and I were talking about Spy Kids. And uh, you guys know that the fourth <laughs> one, Spy Kids 4D? Is that the one uh, with Elijah like, Wood? Uh, I don't actually know I if he's in it. I think so. I'm told he was, but... um. By the way, for those of you who don't know, we're totally recreating this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, yeah, we are, we are. <laughs> yeah, my friends are, you know, technically... Oh, shit, guys. Alexa Vega but... is in it, and she's <laughs> really fucking hot. Uh, oh, yeah, Alexa Vega looks like 30 years old, plus too much makeup. So does like that mean she's, anymore. like, qualified MILF? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't LF. Or, so. or MNLF, he's a middle MILF of... spy I like to fuck. But I wouldn't ILF. So. Spile the. Stop. Stop. <laughs> We're gonna oh, create yeah, a bunch Someone of new needs... anonyms. Oh, never mind. I don't know. Really a- acronyms. Acronyms. <laughs> 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 an a- what's an antonym? Is it like. I thought that's what it called. I thought that's no, what it was called. Antonym's a real thing. I don't know what it means, though. Oh, no. It's like the opposite of a synonym. So it's. It's it... like an opposite. <laughs> it's it's the antonym fu- of synonyms. Sense. Oh, An antonym man. is the opposite of synonym. That's funny. That was my next guess. That was my next guess. So, uh, anyway, Alexa Vega isn't hot anymore. And anyways, but my friend was talking about how he went to the premiere of the 4D, the AromaCast one, and they had, like, scratch and sniff cards. So they'd be like, oh, now we're in the haunted dungeon. Scratch off number five. And then it smells like, you know... A haunted dungeon or whatever. <laughs> what does a haunted dungeon <laughs> so, yeah. smell like? I, I don't know. I just made that up. But I want to see it now. Even if it's without the um, scratch and sniff card. I'm sure they like take that stuff out. Yeah, well, whatever. Would it just be like rotting corpses? Mm, that sounds a pretty adult for a Spy Kids movie. I mean, we gotta get like, you know, PG-13 Spy, Spy Kids. Kids was the coolest thing ever until like you know, I grew the, up and realized age how much when we sucks. knew what movies were. Yeah, pretty much. With Sharkboy and Lava Girl, though, I never liked. Uh, oh, to be honest, my little sister loved Sharkboy and Lava Girl. And it pisses me off. Dude, like, oh, the two God. things I remember from that movie are first of all when uh, they realize that like he controls everything with his mind, and Sharkboy goes, "Huh? So I guess this time you snooze." you win instead of like you snooze you lose and then the other thing is like he was fighting like his evil office or something like in his brain and then he's like oh no i got it brainstorm and then it starts raining brains and like somehow it like, beats the <laughs> other the his i don't know it was stupid it was stupid at the time so it really, I mean, it should, really you know, stupid i think now. it should be called it should be pretty much called shark boy lava girl and some guy named max <laughs> some guy named yeah, I guess. But, um, yeah. By the way, I would like to point out that I live in the town where all three, maybe four Spy Kids were filmed and Sharkboy and Love Girl was filmed. Austin, Is that Texas. like a point of pride? <laughs> I think um, a point of pride in Austin would be that Rooster Teeth is there, but, you know. Yeah, that, that'd be my point of pride. I mean, we have pretty good food here in Austin, too. Like what? So. Like, you know, Mexican and barbecue. Well, kind of it's Austin, so that's like pretty much your only choices. Pretty much every barbecue. Yeah, but they're good choices. Do you guys have Del Taco? It's not as good as, like, you know, Taco Cabana. 
Crap. Wait, that's a chain. Never mind. Taco Cabana sounds fucking awesome. Uh, it is pretty good, actually. Well, oh, fuck, that's what I'm going to make. I'm having tacos after the podcast. It's official. Oh, you've moved on from your ice cream phase. Oh, no, it's it's still there. It's still there. I mean, have you ever had uh, taco ice cream? Dude, I, I have a... Uh, theoretically, after we record... I could walk to, like, this place where I could go to Chipotle and then, um, like, this yogurt shop thing. So I could get tacos and ice cream after the podcast. Yogurt is not ice cream. It's as close as I'm going to get. Oh, fuck. There's also Sonic, like, nearby, too. Oh, I got to talk about some of Sonic. So, it's actually, it's an update on the Jackie, Libby, whatever other names I made up story. Um, a bunch of Libby's friends ambushed me at lunch, and since it's like Is 50 she the black cent one? corn, yeah, it's like 50 <laughs> cent it's corn dogs at Sonic, so they all, um, they all like ambushed, It'd like one of them sat next to me and goes like, girl. hey, and then she said, you know, there's a uh, 50 cent corn dogs at Sonic Day, and I was like, oh, that's very cool, I guess I'll stop by there later, <laughs> and then they're like, oh, you should, uh, you should ask Libby to come sit over here, and I was like, I think I'll, like, not... And then they went and got Libby, and uh, they all sat there and was like, "Hey, so uh, Josh says that he'll, you know, go to Sonic and get some corn dogs. Maybe uh, Libby could come with you, and you guys can, you know, have a little date." And I was like, "Actually, I got something to do after school. I don't think I can make it to Sonic." And they're like, "Oh, I guess we're gonna have to go. To the, we'll have to do the next one. Yeah, it's like May twenty second now, but uh, the next fifty cent corn dogs. We'll, we'll, you guys can hang on there." And I was like, "Eh, not, not quite, you know." But before, well, I mean, before I said anything, the bell rang, so. So, uh, I have a question about these two. Is there, like, any mm -hmm. possibility that they listen to the podcast and are just fucking no. with you at this point? No, mm-mm, no. Are you sure? No, because this has been going on longer than the podcast. It sounds like stuff has increased since the podcast happened, though. Actually, you do raise a good point, because they did, like, back off before I started the podcast, and, like, recently they started getting all weird again, so. <laughs> Hey, a bunch of her friends will, hey, like, come up with me and, like, ask I me to take a, a selfie member. with them. So, I mean, you know, if you guys want my WhatsApp, Hey, yeah, I, I can say, like, you know, I'm sorry, but it doesn't work for me, but I can hook you up. I know someone who, like, you know, is probably just as good as me. You don't think you, like, know. joke about me giving their numbers, and you can, like, play me off as, like, some ha handsome macho guy, and then if they ask, like, oh, where does he live? I was like, oh, he lives in Canada. Like... <laughs> No, what I should do is I should absolutely, like, pretend like I'm totally interested, and then, like, give her my number, but it'll be your number. <laughs> wow. We're horrible people. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, speaking well, of that. I mean, I don't know how of, they haven't gotten hints yet. But. Speaking of uh, getting the wrong number, uh, in grade, um, the summer of 10th grade, I uh, had this one girlfriend, and she was really awesome, and sadly we broke up. But the day before we broke, I mean, the day after we broke up was Canada Day, and that's kind of like the Independence Day for Canada, except not as cool. Canada Day. Anyway, so uh, me and my, my buddy Colby and I, we went to uh, the park where they're having all these awesome fireworks, and we met up with Colby's friends, and we all started to hang out, and they brought this one girl, and she was the smoking hottest girl I have ever seen in my life. And we were, like, totally hitting it she off. She melted like, all the snow up there in Canada? Dude, she melted all the snow, and, like, it became summer. Like, that's how hot she was. And, uh... So it's, like, reverse frozen. Yeah. It was, do you wanna... I'm sorry for bringing that up. Do you wanna... Never mind, I couldn't think of a funny snowman. Do you wanna build an ice cream cone? After the podcast, of course. Anyway, so, um... <clears throat> Let's meet up. Anyway, so afterwards, like, he's like... You're really cute. Here's my number. And I'm like, okay. I, so I waited the two days to text her. And I text her. And uh, he gave me the wrong number. The guy who picked up was like, gave me like, he wrote in French. And I called my buddy. I'm like, hey, uh, can you decipher this? And he pretty much, I like, exp he said it. And the guy like replied back in French. He's like, ha, your friend's an idiot for getting punked. So I got made fun of by a French you guy. You got punked. I got punked by a French guy and a girl. Well, did you get her real number? No. I don't want her real number now. Why? What happened? She gave me a fake number. Well, what if she? What if it's just the wrong one though? But, nah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you could have let that one slip away, Anthony. What if she was the one? I'll find her. I still know her name. I'm gonna add her oh, right okay. now on Facebook. Do it. Yeah, do it. 
and we'll like have uh, on the podcast live if he accepts. Yeah. Dude, this one girl I was stalking on Facebook, and uh, I saw like updates from like the past summer, and she's like, "Oh, just got my new car," and like she was only, she wasn't even fifteen. I was like, I immediately don't like this person anymore. Oh my god, my memory was horrible. Oops. Why is she ugly? Yeah, she's pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you know how I said uh, she was the smoking hottest. She changed all of Canada become, to become summer. <laughs> and then, and then went again right afterwards. <laughs> she fell off the wagon. <laughs> Look at her older pictures. Oh, Maybe she hit. like got summer ugly. Summer was only there for a day. No, 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 no. That was her older picture. Maybe she got hotter. Oh really? Maybe. Wait, what? I'm a horrible what? person. I but she took the picture when. I'm yeah, just, you're fine. I'm... Dude, this one time, like, I was uh, standing out by the bus stop talking to my friends, and uh, I accidentally, like, bumped into this girl, like, a bunch of times, and I didn't even know, and my <laughs> friend, like, kept apologizing because he noticed and I didn't, and uh, and, I, and then I finally found out, I was like, oh man, I'm so sorry, and then later, like, my friend and I were, like, play fighting, and um, I thought it'd be funny if I, like, pushed him, like, lightly into her, so, like, he'd bump into her. How old and was then, this woman? Uh, no, she was our age. Huh. So, but I thought it'd be funny to push my friend so he'd lightly bump into her. <laughs> she got on, she, I pushed him into her and then she, like, fell on the ground. <laughs> and then immediately I got scared and I ran away. And, like, the, uh, the, like, guards out there were, like, chased the me guards. down. <laughs> guards? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I came out. Like? Yeah, they were, like, the, the, patrol people or whatever and uh and like i came out I'm like i'm sorry i'm sorry it was an accident and they're like no you're not sorry otherwise you would have ran i was like no you don't understand i was scared <laughs> and so now like and she had like um blue gray like dyed hair so anytime i see anyone with that hair i just stay away because i i don't want i don't want to face them wow yeah so how, how have you not killed yourself horrible. Um, hard work, determination, and lots and lots um, of liquor. This podcast is actually keeping me alive oh. <laughs> because I I've tricked myself into thinking that I can be famous. So you know what would make it even better if Danny showed up once in a while. Then we could yeah, have a friendly fo- yeah, yeah. Like he said, we can literally sure talk. Said... We can literally talk shit about him right now, and he's not going to know because he doesn't listen to the podcast. I'm pretty sure he said that he could record Thursday night. Yeah, Didn't he definitely he? did. Yeah, he, he did. He, he... He I'm, lied I to think us, he, he even I think he even suggested Thursday night, unless that was Anthony. But I'm pretty sure that he 100% could. He said he was free literally any time, same as you, Sam, unless that was Anthony. No, but maybe. Maybe. He maybe. either suggested Thursday night or said he was literally free either time. And it either way, it's unacceptable. But we have to have him on the podcast, so I don't know what we're going to do about him. <coughs> Sorry, I was waiting to hold that one in. I forgive cut, you. Cut that one out, please. Nah. I'm leaving it in, silence and all. Oh, good lord. Um, okay, so remember how I brought up on the non-podcast that wasn't released? Uh, the new Marvel movie? No. From Disney? No. Okay, remember well, how I talked about how the Ant-Man game was going to be killer? It's never, ever, ever going to be killer. Can we, can we link that picture again? We'll link the picture again. Oh yeah, also I want to shout out um, reddit.com slash r slash gggg. No, that was a horrible <laughs> Yes. No, Cats it's standing up is way better. What? Cats standing up is way better. No, yeah. gggg. Hey, everyone knows real G's move in silence like lasagna. What? That's some, that's some Lil Wayne knowledge right there. Dude, really? When has Lil Wayne ever talked about knowledge? I mean, you know, if I wanted no, to learn but no, about it's, how to it's smoke one of his, it's a Lil Wayne quote. Pussy, I, I mean, I'd figure it out. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. Alright, so I found it. No it's, one has uh, ever said that before. <laughs> Lil Wayne what did. It? it was like a rap real, quote. Okay, so no, it's it was real not. G's move in si- Um, Sam. <laughs> yeah. It's a real thing. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I kind of <laughs> want to read out the rest of this verse for you guys. You know, okay, read you the whole song, it. but in your normal voice. 
We'll put the real version in the link dump. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. <laughs> if any of you are still listening, I, I sincerely apologize. For <laughs> you know, I'm gonna, I, I'm oh, probably gonna it's... insert a little thingy to tell you to skip because yeah, that, that might terrible. be painful if you're not, if you're not into it. But yeah, that that was like when I try to read Shakespeare in class. <laughs> it was like a Down syndrome kid reading something. Wow. <laughs> Wait, are you saying I have Down syndrome? No, no, I'm saying I have Down syndrome. Like, how'd you know that? <laughs> Guys, secretly, I'm in a uh, Finland TV show called The Downies. It's a soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called, like, Downesty, actually. It, Downesty Abbey? Yeah. Downesty. Downstown Abbey. Thir- <laughs> okay, no, I... It said Patricia in the first line, and it was really hard not yeah, to Yeah, I line. know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a weird... He, rapping, I think he rap knows. is weird. Rap is weird. Rap is like po- oh oh after oh, he's done with a snap. Oh yeah, we got a snap. But we're no, not because it's, real it's not exactly like a poetry slam. I like That's to make like werewolf the movies. Thing you could ever say <laughs> poetry slam. Yeah. <laughs> I like to make movies about werewolves. Uh, so. Is that a segue to something? I don't understand the reference. It's- Okay, I don't understand it either. I, don't, I, I feel like we should probably bleep those out. Like, I feel bad for saying that many N words. Uh, like I actually there wasn't feel actually bad. as many as I thought there were. Um, do you think we should bleep them, Sam? I don't care. You should just cut that whole part out, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we. Should, I don't uh, know. I'm actually debating. Intro. I'm. <laughs> 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 yeah, do that. Do that. That works. Okay, yeah, it's the intro. intro. Alright, yeah, that's the intro. (laughs) That'll teach them to send intros, because, man. (laughs) Yeah, they just won't stop listening when they hear that. (laughs) Oh my god, I'm so excited for the intro for this podcast. (laughs) We've already had the intro, but whatever. Alright, so... um, What a solid intro, guys. Yeah, it was great. Uh, Yeah, it was made by Anthony. Uh, yeah, my street I could name. hear the start whiteness the podcast through over my now earphones. And have and like play in like uh play the intro now and then just be like, hey, my name is now. L- it's it's Big we're already like ankle deep, so because we're going we're jumping in. So um, I had an interesting moment where uh, the other day, so there's this girl in my English or uh, history class who like apparently turned sixteen or whatever, and like during class we're all like, hey, whatever. And then today, when I was walking to school, um, you know how most schools have that little, like, marquee thing? It's not like a marquee. It's like a digital, like, scrolling thing outside the school where it says, like, the school name. And it says, like, oh, there's going to be a band concert here on the on the 16th or whatever. Yeah. So um, I walk by that every time I go to school. And um, I saw there was a poster, and it said her name. It says, she's 16. And I just, for no reason, I just got really mad at that, at the fact that the poster was there. So I just walked up to it and I ripped it in half and I just kept on walking. I have no idea. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> she fucking I out. Just, I just got unrealistically. No, I wasn't like out of rage. I was just like, oh, that, you know what? Just rip. And I looked around. Nobody saw me. It was awesome. What if she saw you? Like, what if she was watching from the inside of the room? She's like, no! Well, she didn't, no, she didn't say anything to me, like, during class, so it was fine. Anyway, so. Sweet 16. Did she have a sweet anyway, 16? um. Bef- after. Um, okay, cut that out. So I went to Minnesota, and. Um, Minnesota? For, because my cousin was getting hitched. I think that's a phrase. But, so, um, first of all, we had a connecting flight in Denver, and we landed at 4.20, so that it? was, you know, ironic, because it's, we- it's legal there. And, um, uh, so then, um, uh, we had to... or just medical? No, it's legal. No, it's recreational. Over the age of 21, we do not condone smoking the marijuanas on this podcast. Yeah. Even you know. though it does make Unless it significantly it's... cooler. <laughs> yeah, it gives you, like, 20 cool points. Anyway, um, so we had to dress up, like, all nice and everything for the wedding. He wants you. No. Oh, 
Um, I actually that makes it a little less appealing to smoke weed. Anyway, but <laughs> so we had to dress up nice to like go and uh to like watch the ceremony take place. God, I'm retarded with words. I should just quit. <laughs> but anyway, hey, if I personally so I song, I was putting on. This. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So I was put. I was getting all dressed and everything, and I had this tie. And um, my dad was about to leave early, and he was like, "You know how to tie this tie, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course, Dad. I know how to tie a tie." And he's like, "All right." And then he left. And then I was like, "Great." So all I have to do, I just have to, you know, wrap it around and tuck it under like something real fast, and it'll be it'll be fine. <laughs> and I, I didn't know how to tie a tie. Was there a bow so tie I, last after time? like, no, it was a, it was a it was a full on tie, but um. I after like 15 minutes of like not knowing what I'm doing, I just I went downstairs and I got out my laptop and I looked up on like videos on how to tie a tie on YouTube. And anytime like one of my aunts or cousins would get near, I'd like click out of it because I didn't want them to know that I didn't know. <laughs> and so I'd be Why like, not? Yeah, I'm what's just, wrong with that? I'm just browsing Facebook because I I, they probably I should know how to tie a tie. Porn. Yeah, well, that makes you way more suspicious. No, no, they didn't know. They didn't know anything. Uh, there goes Josh <laughs> but... looking at porn at his uncle's house. <laughs> no, but they didn't know anything. And then, so I watched enough of the video, and I was like, ah, I got it. And then I went up there, and um, I, I was like, crap, I, I didn't watch enough of the video. So then uh, I started to hear my aunt goes, I, I think he needs help. And, like, she's talking to you my cousin, help, and she Josh. says, <laughs> and, and, she, and, she, and so she says, hey, uh, you, you should go in there and, and ask if you can help him. And I was like, Ugh! and at that moment, I tied it, and it looked perfect, and I just, like, sat on the bed and started putting on my socks, and then my cousin came in, and I, and he was like, oh, uh, hey. And I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? Nice uh, nice bow tie that you got there. And he's like, yeah. Uh, I knew there was a bow tie in the story. One. Yeah, yeah, I know, I do yeah, remember I, bow tie in the story. It was prominent, Yeah, it too. was my cousin wearing the bow tie, and I was like, nice bow tie. And he's like, yeah, it's my first time wearing one. So, uh, see you, I guess. I was like, yeah, see you. So, yeah, nobody knew. And then, um, then later we went out to, like, eat, and then my cousins left early, and then they beat us home, and apparently, um, on the way back home, they'd stop by a Dairy Queen, and they picked up a cake, and it said butts on it, and it was written in frosting. Butts, butts, really good butts. Cake. Wait, did I, why did it say butts? Because, butts. I got to eat the bee, also. You got to eat the butts? Why did... What? I don't no, understand. Just, just, you know... Okay, would you rather have a cake, or would you rather have a cake that has butts written on it? I'd have a cake that says butts written on it. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. Is that even a question? I know. So, did you if go to the bachelor party, that Josh? question, I'm gonna, you know... Dude... Did I do the what? Bachelor Josh party? got so hammered at the bachelor no. party. Yeah, I was really drunk. Were you the stripper at the bachelorette party? I know, I was the stripper at the bachelor. I was a stripper. I was a stripper, stripper at the bachelor party. Yeah, that sounds nasty. That doesn't even know what sound that is. good at all. It sounds like a sexual disease. Oh man, I got the stripplers. <laughs> <laughs> the stripplers. Oh man, just last week I got J Mads. Now I have stripplers. Come Maybe on. Maybe I should stop this? fucking milk. <laughs> Sounding with it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and also the whole time at the wedding reception, uh, since everyone was drunk and dancing, I just like sat in a chair and I was like reading the Space Jam lyrics and in like time with the songs they were playing. So it was like they were all Space Jam remixes. What's wrong with so. you? He has a lot of time on his hands apparently, but I'm not gonna lie, that's something I'd do. Yeah. See, I'm relatable. Uh... You're the relatable guy in the podcast. I'm still likable. If anyone if anyone relates to me, I feel sorry for them. It means you have a really fucked up life. That was supposed to be funny. Pool. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for summer. I'm gonna go swimming so much. It's gonna You're be gonna, awesome. Man, I think we're sinking these pool jokes way too much. I think you already used that joke. Yeah, well, you also said pool, like, a lot, so. Yeah, but I didn't say the same, oh, looks like we're sinking these references. <laughs> I just said pool. What's wrong with pool? Are you not cool enough for pool? No, I'm not a pool shark. I feel like you'd, like, challenge somebody to pool and then just lose every time. 
that's actually not too far off. It's happened many yeah. times. Do you routinely challenge people to pool? I do routine. No, yeah, I used to. I challenged some. I uh, challenged someone to pool last night. Dude, I was Canada's on a um, foosball. I was on a foosball team. Wait, what'd you say? I was. Sam? I went. Canada is weird. Canada isn't weird. We have pools everywhere. Did you, did you hear that, everybody? Sam is racist. <laughs> anyway, but I was on a professional foosball team called the Bloody Vultures. That's a lie. It's just what my friend and I would say every time we challenge somebody to foosball. But we were, were the Bloody Vultures, though. So, shout out to the Bloody Vultures. I wonder if the Bloody Vultures ever played pool. Like, after I left. I thought you were part of Bloody Vultures. I said after I left. Pay attention to your own podcast, Sam. Uh, it's not really worth it. Yeah, you're right. This so podcast your going, is Sam? absolutely horrible. Can I just say, this is a... Terrible podcast. Well, you know why? It's because you're telling shitty stories. No, it's because Danny isn't here. No, it, it's because I rapped. That's why. I, yeah, the moment I rapped it. <laughs> no, no, that's, you know, I, no, that's the burn, intro, though. I just, I just that's, just a, that's just a... That's just a crappy intro. <laughs> it's the greatest intro of all time. I'm seriously debating whether or not I should put the whole thing in or uh, just cut out the best parts. I think just I'm going to go with the, the whole thing, parts. though. I, th- I think I think I want to do the whole thing, but I don't know. How long was that? That was like a five minute. That's gonna be a five minute intro. Yeah, you're right though. I I didn't think about that. I don't know. I'll decide when I edit. I don't know when I'm gonna edit this thing. So how's editing going for you? Wow, that's a horrible question to ask. Really? Somebody's got to create oh, yeah. a podcast, Josh. <laughs> yeah. Are you volunteering? No. no. <laughs> oh. Why don't you ask us questions, Josh? Make us make make us work. So how's not editing going, guys? Dude, it's pretty nice. I don't have to do anything. I just play video games. Yeah? I'm playing some Minecraft right now. What you building? Uh, I'm just planting carrots, actually. I just got a Silk Touch book, so I'm pretty excited about that. Probably get put on some shears or something. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Since I'm a little gay, I downloaded, like, um different like regions and pokemon in minecraft and i just like walk through them and it's like a 3d adventure you know you can get like a pixelmon mod it's like the pokemon and you can oh yeah yeah you ever played that one well I... wait you mean mod or texture pack it's a mod oh i never got that yeah it's pretty cool all right we'll, <laughs> we'll check it out what i can't did you guys uh play much pokemon before um i had i, I played had everything X. up to the ds versions yeah, I don't have a DS. Are you, are you gonna get? Oh, you don't have a. Th- if you had a 3DS, would you get the new absolutely I would. ones? Yeah, dude, I can't wait to buy them. I'm gonna. This is the first time I'm gonna get both of whatever. Uh, <laughs> both one. Both of just for yourself. Yeah. If I had a girlfriend, is that what it's like to be Pokemon alone? Pokemon game, but I don't have yeah. a girlfriend, so she's not getting a Pokemon game. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucks for her. It sucks for my non-real girlfriend. Ooh. Ah. No, I had a 3DS, and I had Pokemon X, and I was so close to beating it. I was on, like, the last gym leader, and I fucking lost my 3DS. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, See, the was... reason why I didn't beat the Elite Four isn't because I rage quit. It's because I got bored. Yeah, I know. And I just I just never play it anymore. I was playing a, I was playing Fire Red on my phone, and I got to the Elite Four, and I was like, meh. And I just stopped playing it. I, I don't know what it is, but when I play on my phone, I just... It doesn't. I don't think I have as much fun. It's weird. Yeah, the buttons are way fun to make all the noise with the buttons. I have. Yeah. I have a Game Boy, like a, a really? Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah, so do I. I have Emerald in it. It's have you guys been playing that uh, piano game? Speaking of phone games. Oh yeah, it's such a great game, dude. I played it for like five seconds and then I got bored. I get bored a lot. How is the timing work in rush mode? Because uh, it like the... starts at three seconds. I don't understand it. Oh yeah, the reason why I don't play anymore is because I don't have a phone. I didn't even oh, remember yeah. it right now. Did we talk about that last podcast? Uh, we talked about it one before. I think I briefly brought it up. Yeah, Josh last, is po- last, last and podcast means phone. eight. Yeah, I washed my phone and yeah, uh, update from the place where I sent the phone. Um, they're replacing it like one part at a time, and they're replacing like almost all the parts. So it's gonna take a really long time. and It's gonna be really expensive. So I'm super excited. <laughs> 
I'm gonna owe my dad money for like a year. Is it more expensive than getting a new phone? No, they said like two hundred dollars. That's not. And that since bad. it's an iPhone, it would be like six hundred dollars. So, it actually has a good Speaking deal. Speaking of but phones, I don't want to pay two hundred dollars. So my Android phone. I got the uh, KitKat update the other day. It's like you know I've been waiting for like half. A oh month yeah, because they what do like the ice cream sandwich and, yeah. and stuff. It's like a next version. It's the next version of a. Uh, the operating system. It's just branded it as KitKat because KitKat paid for it. But anyway, I uh, I tried to update it and it wouldn't do it. So, and then I tried and then I tried like a factory reset and that just didn't do anything either. So now I'm stuck with a phone that doesn't update. And I you know I removed all the stupid apps and I have to go back and install all of them. It sucks. Oh, you know what sucks when like your phone becomes out of date and like you can't update it anymore and you delete an app thinking, oh, I'll just reinstall it, and you go to reinstall, it's like, no, you can't do that, buddy. Oh, that sucks. That's never happened to me. I hope that doesn't oh, happen. Why, I why hope it doesn't happen do it? to you. It's it's different on Android because um, not all phones are always not all phones are like forced to update to the latest version. It's like up to the carrier and the uh, manufacturer to update. Wait, Anthony, why doesn't it let you reinstall them? Uh, because iPhones are fucking stupid. Because the app version for his iOS version is gone, I assume. Yeah, it's pretty much it. I, that didn't answer any question. I'm still confused. Well, what's your question? Why, like, what, why you isn't see, it letting you reinstall them? Mom and a dad love each other because very the, uh, much. They decide to... Anthony, shut up. Because <laughs> the app version that he installed is now gone. Because his phone didn't get update to a new, newer version of the uh, operating system, but everybody else. Oh, does. like your phone can't update. Yeah, because it's too old. But you need the update for the app. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I've had that happen to me before. It sucks. But anyway, I st I completely skipped iOS six because uh, when I had iOS five, um, I didn't want to update it, and plus I jailbroke it anyway. And then uh, iOS 7 came out, and I was like, oh, iOS 7. I was like, I don't need that. I'm on iOS 5. And then all my friends started getting apps that need you know, iOS 7, so I was like, ah, sure. Peer pressure? Peer yeah. pressure is not So fun. I unjailbroke it. And yeah, I'm not really missing the jailbroken iPhone. Why not? Well, I, did, I wasn't doing anything, like, illegal on it. The only thing I was doing was... The only, wasn't like, main really. thing that I was doing... Was that I had like a, uh, a Pokemon ROM, and that's and then like right after I went through all the trouble of getting it on my phone, I learned that there was already one like on the App Store that you could download. So did you so. just blow your brains out? Well, yeah. Ken Parks. I was about to say Crap that. Crap neck. Crap neck. Yeah. It's a crappy movie. Never seen it. I really don't want to release this podcast. Speaking of Why? It's such too... a good podcast. Maybe if you would stop no. saying that. Oh my god. Guys, 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 guys. Hey, I'm trying to lampshade here because this is actually really terrible. What Holy the fuck shit. does lampshade mean? Look it up on TV Tropes. I will never do that. What the fuck? Alright, then you'll be confused, dumb butthole forever. Anthony, what were you saying? So you remember how I was saying, oh, we're just going to live stream and like I'll see if she accepts my friend request? Oh, yeah? Yeah, she accepted my friend oh. request. We didn't say we'd live stream, but yeah, live acceptance right here. Oh. Hey, ask, hey, ask her for pics and see if she's still hot. <laughs> Don't do that. I, I'm ask not for her Snapchat. Josh is not the best when it comes to women. No offense. Hey, I've had like half a girlfriend before, so it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> was she a paraplegic? <laughs> Oh, this podcast is going downhill fast. I was trying to somehow make turn that into like my girlfriend was my hand, but I just couldn't. One hand I wonderland couldn't make the connection. Yep. Uh... <laughs> What's wrong? I'm just frustrated because I I I don't, I don't like this. What don't you like? This this episode it sucks. Why are you you're complaining about it? God damn it! Just yeah, stop see, talking Sam and about I are it. Complaining about it? No, but it that's not gonna change its suckiness. It still sucks. It doesn't suck. Our podcast suck. is confirmation is bias. 
Because you Our think it sucks, you're making it suck. peaking at this moment where we're <laughs> discussing how much it sucks. Now, whose fault is that? It's your fault. Josh, no, I think I think I'm no, going to No, it's my one. responsibility that it's peak. See, this is what you get for making me carry the podcast. Because now we're just... You, you asked to carry the podcast, though. No, I didn't. I asked. I specifically asked not to, and all of a sudden, you guys are like, "Oh, well, you're the only one." You have a problem with silence or something? Because I, I have no problem with sitting in silence. I sit. Yeah, in but silence that goes directly guys, against so. what a podcast is. So what? So we can't do that. It, it's breaking the rules. Well, you know, rules are meant to be broken. Ooh, not all rules are meant to be deep. broken. Oh, yeah, would you want to just release two and a half hours of silence, and if people complain, we'll be like, oh, it's no, art. it's art. Yeah, you have to art. listen to it correctly. <laughs> it's art. You have to project your feelings onto the recording of nothing. I need some orange juice. So let's reconvene and grab some orange juice. And we're back. <laughs> wow, that was a very quick trippage to orange juice. The other day, I, um... I was eating a banana, and uh, I was like, you know, gay? walking around outside. Oh, they make you gay? Yes, I'm, I, I had, like, all the way. But I, I was carrying the peel, and I was like, well, crap, I gotta throw it away some somehow. And then, like, the peel broke off and fell on the street, and then I just said, you know what? It's fate that the banana should land on the street, so that's how I justified littering. That was a good story. Well, I don't see you guys telling stories. Maybe because I'm waiting for you to finish your story. Yeah, that I only started because you don't aren't telling any stories. Because you start telling a story before I can start. Sam, do you have any good stories? I do. Let's hear one. Oh, then Are you why sure haven't you spoken Josh? up yet? <laughs> interrupt me! Wait, Everyone Josh. loves it when people interrupt. That's what makes a good podcast. It's turmoil. No, that's completely false. You're completely false. He's the false prophet. Oh, yeah. did you play Tell Bioshock? Tell your freaking story. Oh, yeah, in- dude, Infinite? I'm a big fan of Bioshock Infinite. Did you play the first two? Uh, I played the first one at my buddy's house, and I wanted to buy the second one, but it looked really bad, and I'm like, no, not gonna buy it. Yeah, I can't I play it, the uh, first I two. heard it's just, uh, I heard it's Bioshock 2 is pretty much only from the Big Daddy's point of view. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like Bioshock 1, and I never played Bioshock 2, but I played Bioshock Infinite, and it was pretty big. It's pretty good. I never used the Vigors, though. I, like, used them only on the Patriots. I think Like, the favorite... Shock Jockey on the Patriots. Yeah, that's pretty much what I used to. Oh, have you played the uh, Burial at Sea DLC? Nah, I usually don't buy DLC unless I get, like, a Game of the Year edition. I don't know. I kind of want to get it. Just Did to you? Start playing. No, I want to get back into my Xbox, but I've been too much of a PC gamer lately. And I know Bioshock's on the controller. Yeah, I have it on the PC. I played it with the controller, though. That's the only way I could play it, because the... It's, it has weird controls from what I remember for FPS. Yeah. I don't have any orange juice. Josh, you son of a bitch. This was Did a good segment what? of the podcast. And you, you missed it. an actual... We, I, I wasn't here. We had a nice conversation. Well, go back to it. Well, we're done. Don't let me out. No, I feel like you ruined our groove. Yeah, stand your ground. Podcast, Fight me. Right. Okay, I'm. I'll just leave then. <laughs> no, don't, don't, Please don't. don't. I'm just kidding. Please I'm just joshing you, Josh. I'm just joshing. <laughs> 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 this joshing you. You're. J- I'm just meing you. So I've been playing a uh, Rogue Legacy. Have you guys ever played or heard of that game? Mm-hmm. I've not heard of or played of that game. Do you guys know what like a rogue like game is? Mm-hmm. Like, Stop that, Josh. <laughs> it's like a dungeon no, sort of game. Like, mm, mm. <laughs> you get through, like, I do that to people now and they get pissed off. Well, it's because you're stupid. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, this is not good podcast material. This is just you making noises. Mm, of course it is. So what's a rogue crawler good dungeon game? Yeah, it's like um, there are different levels of the dungeon, you know, different em- enemies and stuff. It's like a 2E... Sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Josh, I'm... Oh, like the original Zeldas, right? Yeah, sure. Sort of, but not really. But anyway, it's a pretty fun game. I, I like, um, I think I'm really bad at it because I, I like had to be like a level 200 or something 
to beat like only the first two bosses, which is pretty crazy. But I'm actually getting pretty good at it now, so I'm pretty happy. Dude, I just checked our uh, Ask FM. We have four questions. Dude, that's awesome. Are they horrible? No, actually, they're pretty good. I can't wait to answer questions that I don't know what they are until I'm asked them. Is that sarcasm? No, that's I'm, my favorite I'm dead part of the serious. Podcast. What, do we have a sarcasm section of the podcast now? I know you are, but what am I? One time I did that, and someone yelled at me because apparently that's something only third graders do. You're like, hey! Yeah. Stop being such a little bitch! I tried to be that loud, but I'm sorry. <laughs> it took forever for me to hear that whole thing because yeah. it had, like, cut out. It's like, hey, stop be being such a little bitch. Yeah. Did it really sound like that? It did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> mm -mm. Does that like just if you make does black people make noises, you does you do you just lose a bone? No, that's not that black like, people noise. It's an annoying drunk white girl noise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm not gonna debate <laughs> what kind of people make what kind of noises on the podcast, but you're definitely when wrong. Asian people make this noise. Mm-hmm. That was I'm sorry. Sometimes they go pika pika. Or sometimes they go, hi tall. No. Cause it, cause you deserve that silence. <laughs> Which one, me or him? There we go. That's Did you guys watch the Keon? No, wait, it was the, Wolver the Wolverine, the last one that was in Japan. Have you yes. guys watched that one? Oh, yeah, I saw that in theaters, actually. I didn't like it. It was stupid. I'm, I went in knowing that it was going to be bad. and You could say was, that Wolverine didn't make the cut for this one. Are you guys... <laughs> nice. Are Thank you guys going to see the new X-Men? Yeah, Days of Future Past. Yeah, I've been debating. I, I kind of want to though. It, I seems, seen it looks really good. About it. it looks really good. Like uh, the the guy who directed the first two X Men movies are taking is doing it again, and he did oh, really God. well with those. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, the third one was not good. The third one was shit. I bought it and I was like, "Yeah, sweet, I got an X Men movie. I spent my money on it. I went home, I watched it. I'm like, well, this is fucking garbage. Like, I just spent twenty bucks on a DVD to get this." Okay. That's not good podcasting, Josh. Just saying, okay. Mm -hmm. You don't have anything else to add. Just shut your whore mouth. Too man. Yeah, but I'm, I'm killing the podcast. I'm letting you guys have the limelight. Oh, dude, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm sure you have a good story. Who has a good story? Let's tell stories on the podcast. I nominate Sam. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You literally uh, said I you could had talk a about story. Game of Thrones some more. All right. You said you had a story. Oh, but Danny's not here, and I really don't watch Game of Thrones. So you can talk yeah. to yourself about Game of Thrones. Sam, <laughs> you said you had a story. Did you already tell it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I think so. I could talk about uh, Left 4 Dead some more. I've been playing well, that, too. Yeah. What was, wait, what was, give me, what was your summary about? I think I missed it. Yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. You'll, you'll listen don't show to up in the recording. Anything. Yeah. Maybe it was when I went to go check if we had orange juice. Did you? Oh, do you guys pulp or no? No, remember because I came back and I pulp. said you don't it's have orange pulp juice. or nothing, dude. I don't even drink orange juice. I drink Sunny D. Oh, it's the retarded orange juice. That's like diabetes. But it's good. Orange juice. No, it's but not. But it's good. It's diabetes. No, it's awesome. It's diabetes. not good. Diabetes. I agree. Okay, I agree. It's diabetes, but it's good. It's so gross. It's too sweet to eat to drink. You don't eat. It's too sweet to eat, but it's not. It's not too sweet to drink. It's like. Super give you that chocolatey one. chocolate milk. Sunny D it's tastes like chocolate, chocolate milk in Canada? No, 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 no. Confirmed. Dude, Canada's really weird. Yeah. Don't you guys have, like, cookies and cream milk? We do. We do. I, I really want to try that. I had a bottle today. I really want to try that. It's in my fridge right now, but I don't know how good it would be. Wait, what do you have? Uh, cookies and cream milk. Ew. No, 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 Wait, no, no. do you actually get your milk in a bag? Yes, we do. Well, uh, not me. Um, wait. No, so okay. how does that work? Is it yeah. powdered or what? How do you, how do you pour it? All right, so... Do you just uh, carry, like, a leaking bag? Do people just run through the supermarkets, like, what? knifing them? <laughs> not sure that's happened. <laughs> I'm sure that has definitely happened. Well, to be fair, you could do that with uh, the plastic jugs. Yeah, but it would be more satisfying to watch a bag deflate of milk than a jug. That would be fucking hilarious. 
Hmm, well. Uh, no. So, oh, do you um, guys have, like, knifers instead of, like, the ones that, the, uh, the galloners? The ones that, like, fly all over the place and break their necks. Oh, is that what you actually do with the milk around? bags? Yeah, you, like, put it in a special thing and you, like, bang it. I don't know why I banged my table, I'm sorry for that noise. Mm -hmm. And, like, yeah, you just bang it. It's really cool. What? Dude, Wait, I bang what? milk all the time and now I have striplers. Wait, you bang it and it, like, opens and pours into the thing? No, 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 you gotta cut the top of the bag milk off, right? So wait, you like, cut the bag open and then you pour it in a pitcher. So why would you not just buy a jug and open because it? Because the it jugs the are way more uh, polluted. Like are they? they? Pollute our, yeah, they pollute our environment, dude. Wow, and plastic bags dude. are bigger, better. Canada is really liberal, apparently. Oh fuck, we are the most liberal motherfuckers. It's okay, I'm a liberal. Let's so talk about I, politics. I, That'll be fun. Yeah. Josh. <laughs> I really don't know anything about politics, so you guys can have this one. No, I'm good. I'm doing a simple diagram on how milk bags are working here. Yeah, post it in the link dump. Oh yeah, it will be posted in the link dump. So speaking of stories, you know my have I have I ever told you guys about my older brother? You have a brother? I didn't I even know that you were a actually. child. At one my point. my younger brother actually listened to the internet box, but I don't know if he was on Reddit. So I, I doubt he knows that I do this. But, uh, fuck you, Are you Jacob. gonna keep it uh, that way? Anyway. Ooh, fucking name drop! <laughs> My older brother, he's, he's like a, he like graduated college this year. And he's like, uh, I'm gonna get his name on some studies and shit. So that's pretty cool. What is he doing? He's like doing research work or something. For geographic information systems, like GIS. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, and he's got his name on some studies. Which is, I thought that was cool. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Dude, shout out to I that. got, I got like a letter, um, saying that they wanted to like experiment on my brain and like how I think and stuff. And I was like, well, I'm gonna mess up your experiment, but whatever. Apparently, I qualify, so I'm gonna go in like some Tuesday and I'm gonna like play like a computer game and then your parents were okay MRI. with this. Yeah, they they're not worried they about people cool. finding out you're retarded. <laughs> No, they want to know how, like, a retard's brain functions, so they sign me right up. I get paid, like, $50 an hour, too. What video Sweet. games do you get play? Yeah. I bet you it's going to be, like, some, shitty some ones like, they make themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's going to be, like, specially designed They're going to be indie games. games. Not good indie games. They're going to be shitty indie games. Shitty games. Shindy games. All right, so this is how it works. I don't know why I didn't upload it to Imgur. I'm going to upload it to Imgur. Why did I do that? That was a weird noise. I've never had that happen to me before. What? He just so, tried to send a send a uh, picture through Skype for listening. Yeah, I I, I accidentally discovered that it that works the other day, but it sucks. So yeah, I'm gonna do an Imgur one. Imgur is better. So, Besides, can we can link Imgur one. We can just pull it straight and put it in the link dump. All right, can you guys vamp for a few seconds? Yes, sure. What was wow, that? Wow, that is about? a terrific drawing that you made. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, that's man. So you See, you how... literally have bagged milk just so you don't have it in a jug. Uh yeah, well that's where I was gonna get at. Um it's different in different parts of Canada. Like I live on the west coast and we still have the cartons of milk. But uh back east, so like Ontario, Quebec, uh Nova Scotia, eh, they're uh <laughs> they use the bagged milk. So do the do the people in other parts of the country like think make fun of you and stuff? Yeah, there's a very big milk segregation. Wait, uh, so like, are your provinces? <laughs> Wait, aren't there or like French separatists somewhere in the middle? Where do they fall on this? Um, the milk French separatists debate. get the cartons. Okay. Um, so like the provinces are they like states? Like, is uh, yeah, as much... they're exactly like states, except we call them provinces. Dude, my favorite state in America is um liquid. God damn it. No, I like uh, plasma. All right, Anthony, you wanna you wanna start uh, the questions? No, I'm I'm kind of enjoying our milk, our milk talks. But okay. Uh, well, we're at like an hour almost, so that's. I mean, our easy. last podcast it released went to two hours. Yeah, but we can't we can't please the people that much all the time. Come on. I can never please a girl. <laughs> I can never even please myself anymore. I've run yeah. dry. Oh, guys. No fat may. That's a thing. 
No. Why would you do that's that? That's not gonna. This happen. is the summer. This is when. Dude, I I've heard. Like, I've heard it's literally the opposite. It's like masturbate May or something. Masturbate May. <laughs> Which makes a lot more sense than no fat May. Well, I mean, people are like, "Oh, it doesn't rhyme." Well, no fat November doesn't rhyme. It I just it comes September. out the tongue easily. Or it, I thought it was September or October. I. It's no fap someday. This yeah, it's no fap November because it like rhymes or it's alliteration or some bullshit. Yeah, it's an alliteration. It's an it's alliteration. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. All right, you guys want to do questions? Sure. All right. Um, so we have I don't know, four. I think I could par- carry the podcast for another hour or two. Yeah, I kind of want to talk about the four questions. Alright, alright, that's up to you, Anthony. Whatever you want. Yeah, they're shitty questions. And one of them's for you Danny. You just said they were good questions. Well, one of them's for Danny, so that one's shitty, but I want to answer it anyway, because I want to answer for Danny. Okay. Are you going uh, to answer in Spanish? <laughs> el soyo el danio. <laughs> Ole. Alright, so, uh, yeah. If you guys don't want to do questions yet, then what do you want to talk about? I don't know, Josh. What do we want to talk about? That's what I'm asking Oh, you. I, was promoting, I was promoting our podcast on uh, roosterteeth.com. How do you what do did they that? think? Do you guys uh, actually use Rooster Teeth? Yeah. I don't. No. I don't. I, I, I think I should, but I don't. I actually bought, like, a membership before the price went up, but I immediately re- regret it because I haven't used it so far. Nice. No, I remember, um, I was, like, uh, I'm still a really big, uh, Rooster Teeth fan, but you know how, like, they have the things, like, you're not allowed to join until you're 17 for some retarded reason? Really? What? Yeah. I don't think that's true. Yeah, it's a new one. I've been breaking the law for, like, three years. Yeah, no, but it's, like, you're not allowed to join until you're 17 or something. Anyway, so I got really scared of them finding out, and I, like, waited (laughs) up in, like, almost up until my 17th birthday to get a Rooster Teeth account, but, um... I didn't, so I put my age as one year older, and for a while I was scared that, like, Mike would find out that I'm not the same age as I thought I was. So, like, I made everything in my, uh, Rooster Teeth journal and all that matched to what I'd be, like, a year older. So, like, yeah, I'm graduating, and I felt really bad for lying to the internet. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, I, I doubt <laughs> You did this when you were 16? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. What? Why? Because I was scared that I was You have to know that they understand that nobody's gonna follow that rule. Yeah, it's just like a liability. <laughs> They're not thing gonna or something. know. I didn't, They're not I, gonna I know. That, I thought Birdie would be like, You're you can't stupid. do that. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> I thought it was real. Oh, they're gonna know. They're gonna bust down my door and they're gonna haul me off to the slammer. I gotta change everything. I gotta change it. I think one of them. You said you were graduating? Yep. <laughs> wow, that's pretty. Wow, you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, gee, I feel awfully bad. Why wouldn't you just say you were internet. like held back or pushed forward to you? Why wouldn't you just do that? Because it says I don't 16. know. I'm at the sign up page. I'm at the sign up page, and it says you have to be at least 16. Oh, <laughs> it was 17 when I did it. Wow, yeah. it was really dumb. You're so silly. <laughs> you did this. If you're like seven or eight, I can understand. But you were 16. What? I'm 16. I That's, just what. I had a really weird thought process when I was a year younger. <laughs> uh, man. Anthony, you are one one thing. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> wow. I th- I thought I always thought I was like I developed slower than my friends, but <laughs> man. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was like, oh, all my friends got girlfriends before me. Like, I think I'm behind them a couple of years. But now hearing you say this, I'm much more confident. <laughs> I thought, you know, I just thought. Like, <laughs> it seemed like a smart idea. I'm like, I thought they were going to Of gonna, course like, it seemed rid- like a smart idea. She thought you were being the system. Yeah, I thought I was, I thought I was 
<laughs> like, no, yeah, fuck the man. I'm a wow, year I'm younger. And you're like, oh, gee, I while, hope they don't I find I out. I was gonna like log onto my account one day, and I'm gonna be like, oh, why can't I log in? And I'm gonna go check my email, and I'm gonna get like a message from Bernie, and he's like, we found out that you're a year older, and you're not allowed to be on the site. I, you know. <laughs> You thought Bernie would be like, oh, this kid right here. <laughs> yeah, I thought he'd like single me out and he'd kick me off. This freaking kid, he's 16 years old. He know how to do that. I'm going to send him an email. <laughs> I'm going to send him a strongly worded email. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, th- I think the podcast is a little bit revived now. You're welcome, because I was carrying that bit. <laughs> you kind of were, but Anthony Wait. was too. What episode? You, you, did we say you brought it up. We said we said it was nine. nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's episode no. This is a very odd podcast, you guys. A- Anthony, um, <laughs> that that combined with the crematorium story, I think are th- those are the two best things I've ever heard. Thank you. I try. I have a really odd life. <laughs> yeah, you're 17, aren't you? That's, <laughs> that's a really prime time in your life. For fucking saying I work in crematoriums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little dead around here. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell crematorium? Did, well, no, if, like, I could just imagine you walking around a, a crematorium and, like, looking at a grave and be like, or looking at, like, ashes and be like, oh, man, that's gonna be me if they find out I'm 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I thought All I was right. gonna be in legitimate trouble. <laughs> the police were gonna kick down your door. The fucking Mounties on their horses would come in. <laughs> Um, oh man, I can't even add on to that. I just love the idea of Bernie just looking at his screen going, WHAT?! This kid! He's in big trouble! I thought it would work. I, you know, I thought... <laughs> hey, well, hey, you got away with it. Yeah. They haven't found you out. Or they didn't, they never did. I'm special. <laughs> All right, now do you want to do questions? Yeah, I don't think we can get over that one. Yeah. All right. Oh, the come Ask on. FM guys. Yeah, I know. I just gotta. I'm just tampering with our uh, subreddit. Tampering? That makes it sound illegal. <laughs> like signing up for a signing up for an account. I know. Uh, did I say that I put flares on the subreddit? No. You did not. Well, I what are the flares, flares for? Um, like just like little. You know what a flare on the subreddits are, right? I do. Yeah, is Josh. Just, yeah, Josh knows. So yeah, is Josh I'm, here? Josh, are you here? Josh, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. That was that was the unintentional slur. Where you at, BB? That'll get him to come. Gosh, Josh, it's like uh, somebody else needs to carry a podcast. Yeah, I'm not carrying the podcast. So we're going to sit here in silence until he comes back. <laughs> Just one long, awkward silence. <laughs> oh, he got dropped! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Josh, oh. you suck. Josh, that really sucks. Rest in peace and peace. Alright, so he's going to have to cut this out. Or not, I think... Oh, I hope he had some, like, funny... Yeah, he's going to have to cut this entire part out. So how do you do flares? Um... So you go, uh, well... It says flare selection unavailable. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's because I'm in it right now. Yeah, probably. Alright, so, like, you can go to, uh, edit your flare beside, like, your name. Oh, you're you talking s- about that flare. I thought you meant post flare. Po- what's a post flare? Like, you can sort by flare. Uh, I don't know how they do it. I'll show you an example it of it. It's something to do with the CSS. Yeah, I don't know. CSS. See that go on space engineers. Ooh, space engineers. Oh, someone. Oh, Sam oh. did that. Nope, Josh did too. Hey, I'm back. Hey! All right, right what I miss? Um, you just gotta cut that flares. part out. Yeah, we were talking about flares on the subreddit. Yeah, just cut that entire part out.
cut this part out, Teal. Okay. I think you're doing the flares right. wrong, though, Anthony. Am I? The uh, per the personal flares, the user flares, because yeah. anybody can select those, can't they? Yeah, no, no, that was the point. But don't we want our own personal flares? Yeah, like I want what? Like, why would somebody? Why would you want myself? somebody to have works in the crematorium? <laughs> Besides you. <clears throat> okay, I'll. Well, yeah, I'm probably fucked. Here, I'll try to fix that. All right, you, guys um, can fix you, it too. you can like you can like change them, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, ask FM questions. Yeah, let's hear it. All right. Question number one: Will Danny marry me? No, um, I'm. I, no. I called. Dan. If you mean Danny, my morbidly obese friend, then yes. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. I have a friend named Danny who does some illegal substances. He might marry you. Danny I don't know anyone named Danny. Question number two: Would Josh look good Dan in yoga pants? Oh, dude! Only one way to find out. I'm gonna stop by Hobby Lobby tomorrow. Wait, what? You buy those at Hobby Lobby? I, don't know, I just Lobby? picked a random like store that I don't go to. Hobby Lobby's a uh, like Michaels. Do you have Michaels? Okay. Yeah, we have a Michaels. <clears throat> hang on, That's hang like on. Let me rewind, let me rewind like 15 seconds. Oh man, only one way to find out. I'm gonna stop by Burlington Coat Coat Factory tomorrow. <laughs> Why would they sell those at Burlington Coat? I don't yet? know. I don't go shopping. Well, that just went down in smoke. That joke. Yeah, it did. All right. Well, uh, wasn't Burlington I th- Coat I think... Factory in the World Trade Center? No. No. <laughs> I don't think so. What? All right. I I will try to buy yoga pants. Definitely not anytime soon. But at one point, I will, and I'll take a picture. Our next question... Actually, I'm going to forget, but whatever. Our next question comes from Anonymous, and he writes, Are Anthony oh, and Sam Anna. single? Yes. I'm single and ready to mingle. Forever alone. I mean, unless your name is blank name here, and uh, you give me the wrong number. Oh, <laughs> dude, I know blank name here. She's dude, pretty... blank... Yeah, she, she got hot. She got hot. And our last question from our Ask yeah, FM was... I would like to add that I am also single. <laughs> yeah, but if you're, black, yoga pants. if you're black and a- or Asian or Mexican or yeah, anything that's not them. white, yeah. Hey, I didn't say anything about Asian or Mexican, but it's probably true, yeah. I mean, if I don't Ming know, Hao I came over it. and asked you out, I'm... No, you dated that Downy! There was that Downy in uh, Asian Girl. Okay, well, to be fair, she was Downy. I mean, come on. Is that like a slur? I don't know. I've heard it before, yeah. Yeah, I heard it. I don't know if it's a slayer. So oh, moving like on. a messed up face too, like with buck teeth and stuff. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> What's the next question? Danny, if you had a gun and one she bullet, down who would you shoot? He would shoot Josh. Yeah, I'd he'd say shoot he'd shoot himself. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it depends he'd on if he's on the me. podcast. If no, it, podcast, it'd be like at the end of the up. Serbian film where uh, where like he shoots his whole family. With one bullet, it, he would like come to my house, what? put our heads next to each other, and kill both of us. Did that actually happen in that movie? Yeah, at the very end, like the family like hugs each other because they're all like crying and tra- traumatized, and then the dad puts him and his wife and his son out of their misery by shooting through his wife's back, through his son, and into himself, and it kills all three of them. That's and then they dark. use their bodies for another film. Anyway, but that's the sequel that hasn't come out yet. Serbian film two, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I watched the fuck out of that. <laughs> and it has like a All giant right. dance element to it. Alright, next question. There's like one more, right? And no, then there's, there's no more. uh Okay, well I've got seven from the everybody. Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot. This one's from Jason with a Y. A J A Y son. Jason What internet meme do you wish would just go away? I uh, mine probably be keep calm and eat a dick. Keep calm and fuck her right in the pussy. Yeah, that's a horrible meme. I want it to fucking kill itself. I want it to pull a Danny. A Danny. <laughs> I'm not and, like no, 14 no, they'd years all old, be, so I don't care. They'd all be um, pulling Ken Parks. Crap, Nick. Alright, this one's from Rural Nick. Rural... Rural... Rural Nick. Rural... If you had to watch one movie on repeat for the rest of your life, what would you pick? I think you guys all know my answer. Serbian film? Yeah. Or Ken Park, actually. Fuck, I was about to say that. Um... Maybe all the Star Wars movies. 
all the good Star Wars movies. I choose Game of yeah, Thrones. I love as all a, my uh, children equally, even the return. Forty-six hour movie. I'd pick uh, Die Hard, the good first three. Actually, no. If you if you're allowed to pick a whole series, I might go Lost. Yeah. Oh, if we're allowed to pick TV series now? <laughs> well, he's said Game of Thrones. I well, Game of Thrones rest, is I just not. Want it's, to rest it's home box on office. Repeat. Oh, rest of I'm going to go good. back to Serbian film because this is getting out of hand. Alright, uh, this is from Atch Haunter. Like Achievement Hunter, but it's a Haunter. What is the sexiest accent? Boston. <laughs> Cake Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, that one. Um, I don't know. I really enjoy the. Um, I don't think accents are sexy. That's I enjoy the uh, accent of like... fine girl from Bandit Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Basin Mulador Patel, and I am from Bandit Daddy, India. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, this is from Kev to the O. Kev to the says, O. What no, is no, the no. most incriminating thing you've ever Googled? No comment. Yeah, I'm not commenting on that one. I'm gonna go... Guy fucks girl A while girl B fucks him in the ass with a strap on. <laughs> <laughs> so it was you. Yes, I guessed their password. Um, mine would be when I was looking up the, uh... The one about the German kid. And I... <laughs> I, I couldn't phrase it properly. I finally found that video for you, and you didn't even put it in the link dump. I'm putting it in this one. Angry no, put in the last one too. German butt stuff. Just oh, it's it's called the greatest freak out ever. Like the first one, there's like twelve of them, but the first one's the one with the somehow I butt think stuff. I might have gotten a photo. It's a remote, of a not a keyboard. Hitler. Somehow I oh, it's angry German. All right. Um. Okay, this one's from. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from lovely. <laughs> Sorry. Lovely, um, t lovely T. Netinba. Um, it says, "What is your favorite Pokemon type?" All gens apply. So like fairy and shit. Dragon. Because yeah, dragon's dragon. pretty good. Fire. In terms of st uh, starters, though, I always pick fire. Yeah, definitely. Uh, dude, my favorite starter was Fennekin from Pokemon X. That right. was actually from, like, silver or gold or something? Well, or, I know. No. I don't know. Wait, Fennekin? That, yeah, was, uh, the... that was a new one. Is it? Oh, yeah, I'm Fennekin thinking about... Yeah, Fennekin was a new one, I think. Cyndaquil was from, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Dude, maybe if All we right. had Carrier Dial on this podcast, this podcast would, you know... We could It'd be three about. hours long, it'd be the Pokecast. But Dude, I remember I down, so. I'm not a big fan of Pokemon, like, I listen, I play the games, but I mean, I don't, like, I'm not, I don't have a raging hard-on for it. I have a and medium hard-on for it. I have a, I have a halfway hard-on, you know, like, when it's just kind of floppy, still floppy. A, so you're nursing a semi. Yeah. Semi, no, but, um, whatever. Like, I remember I You shook it a couple too many times. Uh, I saw it was like a three-hour episode of the internet box, I'm like, oh, sweet! And I downloaded it, it was the fucking Pokecast, and I was not too mad, but I was kind of mad because it was Pokemon cast. I was pleased. That was like, it was it was in like the sort of era where they sort of weren't as good. But I, I think that one was oh, a like shining beacon in a sea of shit. Dude, that's our entire podcast. No, we're gonna get better. It's, it's, we have, look, it's fucking confirmation bias. If you say it, it comes true. Or self-fulfilling prophecy. We're gonna get if you good, say it, it will come true. Or it's like... Whatever. I'm gonna get laid, I'm gonna get laid, I'm gonna get laid. <laughs> yes, that's... The yeah, that doesn't it. work, therefore our theory disproven. Alright. Um, this one's from Zeddy0525, and it says... Um, well, this is kind of hard to answer. What was the strangest interaction you have ever had with a fan? Probably when they actually listened to us. Oh! Um, my friend who listens to it, he's like... You guys are really offensive. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, like... You should have just gone, you're really offensive, and then just run away. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. But that's my fan. I'm so, trying, hi, fan. I'm trying really hard not to, like, 
shove this down the throats of the people that I know. But the two people that I know that have listened to it like it pretty well, so... Yeah, my buddy Levi likes it pretty well, hopefully. Yeah. Strauss? Levi, yeah. I listen to it. Hey, uh, can you ask him if he can hit me up with some jeans? <laughs> ask him pretty yourself! Sure used that joke before. Does that mean he's going to be on the podcast as special guest on episode 10? You never know. Maybe he will be. He won't. All right. This lesson, this lesson, this letter, this... I don't know why I said lesson, it's from Scotty. Uh, Scotty's going to beat me up here in a second. And it said, what would you want written on your tombstones? Dad, the way Maybe he like lived. he tried to have that, a podcast. So... All right. Sam's immortal over there. I'm like Kenneth on 30 Rock. <laughs> That's right. a good show. You guys should watch it. I do. Watch I watched it the finale out. and I liked it. Kenneth is funny. All right. Oh, is Kenneth the one that played uh, like um, Fix It Felix on yeah. Jack It Ralph? Yeah. Yeah. Jack McBrayer, I think his name is. Yeah. Said hold my beer. Then so he wait, died. what do you, what do y'all want on your tombstones? Um, no, I'm, I'm I want that quote die. from Scruffy. Crazy. I want that. Scruffy going to die the way he lived. Uh, oh, uh, there was this one video. Uh, do you guys know who like Britannic or Britannic or whatever they're called? Have you guys heard of them? No. No. All right. Well, um, they have this video about uh, DiGiorno Pizza, and it's really funny. And I'll link it. So just want to bring that up. Anyway, DiGiorno. that's all for questions. Ow. So, man, look at the time. I think we have to start wrapping up. Um, Anthony might link our Twitters. I don't know if he does I am that gonna or link it. I'm going to link our Twitters today. Alright, um, I don't really care about Twitter, but I might, eventually. Uh, we've got a subreddit, so check out our subreddit. If you downloaded this from our subreddit, check it out again. And, uh, maybe post a little something on there. We'd very much appreciate it. You can ask um, us questions on Some ideas on of something that you can quote, or post, I don't know why I say quote. Some, uh, if you want to post on the subreddit, but you're not quite sure what... Maybe try an intro or a question because or we desperately need intros. Questions, maybe. Questions are awesome when they're addressed specifically to us. Like, I, I really enjoyed getting asked the yoga pants question. But more than anything, we need intros. So send us intros. Because the intro for this podcast, as you heard, was atrocious. More than likely, I think, is Anthony reading the rap. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this mess of a podcast, but whatever. Anyway... Um, so yeah. Bye. 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 Love you. Pool.